This is the wax funeral effigy of Queen Elizabeth I. It's located in the Queen's galleries at Westminster Abbey and can be visited by the public. So from about the 13th century, wooden or wax models, so effigies of the dead monarch, were created to be carried along in a funeral procession. Sometimes they were put on top of the coffin in which the body lay, or sometimes they were put under a canopy separate to the coffin. For example, if we look here at part of the procession of Queen Elizabeth I, which took place in 1603, her effigy is there at the top. So here I've zoomed in, and that was the wooden effigy of Elizabeth I, so the original effigy. Usually these effigies were lifelike and they were dressed in the full coronation regalia, including the crown. It is said that Elizabeth's wooden effigy was so lifelike that members of the crowd actually gasped because they thought it was the queen herself. The idea behind these effigies was to bring the fact to life that the monarch was truly dead and it also allowed the mourners to pay their respects. Elizabeth's original effigy was wooden and it was dressed in a corset that was actually made to fit her measurements at her death. So her body didn't wear this, but her effigy, but to make it lifelike, it was made in the exact shape of her body. And what is remarkable is that this pairs of stays or a corset still exists to this day and can be seen. So if we look here, there is her original corset that was on the original effigy and that amazingly survives from the year 1603. But this effigy, which is a wax effigy, was made in 1760. So this is an amazing 1760 replica. These clothes all date from that era, which is fantastic. But one does wonder what happened to the original clothes that were put on that original effigy. It would have been amazing had more than just her pair of stays had survived. I would have loved to have seen the gown that they had put the effigy in. This is still a remarkable piece of art and the fact that it has survived to this day is also remarkable because we do get a sense of what Elizabeth looked like. Westminster Abbey also holds a whole host of other effigies which are also worth seeing, such as this effigy of Charles II. He died in 1685, and by the time that he had died, the idea of having a uh, funeral effigy placed on top of the coffin was no longer a thing. This had been replaced with the tradition of putting the imperial crown upon the coffin. So this effigy was actually made after his death in 1686. It's an incredible likeness, and it's thought that his face was taken from a cast that was taken during his lifetime for a sculpture. So if you look into his face, it is as though you are looking into the face of Charles II. 